The Attorney General's office unveiled a new portal for parents to submit complaints about curriculum. But Fox 59 State House reporter Hannah Adamson joins us now to explain how this is already causing a lot of controversy among educators. Yes, absolutely. This week, the Attorney General's office launched its Eyes on Education portal. Essentially, any parent can submit teaching materials they find objectionable to this portal, which is then reviewed and posted publicly. Educators I spoke to, again, giving that portal some mixed reviews. My office is launching Eyes on Education. Seems a little unprecedented, but that doesn't mean it's wrong. Greenfield Central Superintendent Harold Olin says while parents should work with school administrators first to address any issues, outside eyes can help. There needs to be somebody that can make such an appeal to. If that's through a, a portal, so be it. But the Indiana State Teachers Association says the Attorney General's Eyes on Education portal is unnecessary and that the claims are not legitimate. It is their school corporation and school administration that are responsible for firing those educators if they're not living up to the expectations that they should be. The nonprofit Chalkbeat spoke with nearly a dozen schools on the list. They say several schools are concerned due process and privacy rights are being ignored. Well, there are instances of of both uh, school employees and people who have complained to the attorney general. Their email addresses, phone numbers are posted online on this portal. Appleton also says several schools claim the information on the portal is just plain wrong. Some of them have said that they're inaccurate or they're no longer in use. And at least one said that the material actually came from an outside group. The Indiana Department of Education says it had no idea the attorney general's office would release the portal and that the department is talking with schools about this. The attorney general says the goal of the portal was to point out the blatant hypocrisy of schools claiming CRT was never being discussed in their classrooms. He says none of the supposed identifying information in that portal will be taken down. Reporting in studio, Hannah Adamson, Fox 59 News. Hannah, thank you so much.